Jerry, you mentioned alliances. Frank, I'm curious to know if you think it's a smart move to form alliances in this game, because shouldn't everyone kind of have their own back on this one? I mean, it is a race after all. Yeah, no, I think early on, it's definitely good to have some sort of alliance. And I say this because sometimes you, you get a bad cab or you kind of, you know, dealt a, a dealt a bad hand. Um, but when you have a team there that can somewhat make up that gap for you, it really helps. So we were kind of just in between. We weren't anybody's enemy. We weren't anybody's best friend. But I think kind of being in that gray area hurt us a little bit just because maybe when we're behind, maybe one of those teams tell us, hey, grab your bag. Because you saw in the show that a lot of teams were reminding other teams we weren't the only team that forgot. There was quite a few teams that forgot. They were just told early enough to where they could catch that mistake. We unfortunately were told a lot later um, by D'Angelo once we had – been on a 45 minute boat ride there that we didn't have our bag so that's the only kind of unfortunate thing but i think you should build some type of alliance early on just to kind of help you through those for early stages it was it was it was crushing to watch you know only because you know you're going through this market you don't recognize the language you're asking everyone for these crazy ingredients two pairs of gloves this and that you know and like yeah. you like you said you finally forgot the bag which is a simple but 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 basic mistake that a lot of other teams had made. Jerry, what did you feel in that moment when you realized you forgot your bag? <laughs> I thought I'd let Frank down because the leg before, I said, Frank, we had read the clue, but we did not read the piece about connecting the horn. So we said, Frank, we can't allow not reading the clue to put us off. Well, what happens is when we go into the market, I'm looking right when the clue was left. Frank grabs the clue, reads it, 13 items. He hands it to me. People don't know in your backpack, you've got money, you've got numerous clues with you. I just did not take it out and read the second page, which would have told us, take your backpack with you. That was So that's why it fell on me. And if we would have read our clue, the alliances are good, but really not needed. They're really not. If you do your job, and if Frank and somebody else, not Jerry East, <laughs> Somebody, Anthony, would, no. if you read your clues, you can handle it without the alliances. You really can. You can handle the show. But it is hectic. It is hot. You've got sleep deprivation. People have no idea the buildup. They think it's easy. I've talked to everyone. I'm telling you. I've yeah, talked they to do. coaches. I've talked to NBA players. I'm saying, guys, you have no idea until you're in the situation. We're here in a cab ride in Bogota, Colombia for an hour and 30 minutes, and I can't move for five minutes, and I can't. My knees and hips, when we can't, I fell out of the cab. You just <laughs> don't know what's going to happen. It's not as easy as it looks, but it's exciting. There is no lose to it. I'm waiting for next week. I can't wait. I'm being honest. I just can't wait. Because I, I, got- I, I know who won, but I don't know what happened, and I can't wait. I got to say, it's it's exhausting just taking a normal, like, vacation flight somewhere, let alone nothing about Amazing Race looks easy to me. Um, and and certainly not reading the clues and gathering everything. And you also have to do it very quickly. So I appreciate what you guys have to go through. Frank, after you forgot the bag and you have to go back 45 minutes just to come back another 45 minutes, did you still think maybe you had a chance at this point? Or were you kind of resigned to the fact that you were in last place and going to stay there? No, we like I said, Eves don't quit. We never give up. So once we got there, I was like, we just need to pick a challenge and just hit it as hard as we can. You don't know what some other team went through, like a, a team got U-turned. Maybe we would, maybe we don't get U-turned, but somebody else did, which allows us to catch up. So you never really give up until you know for a fact that, you know, at the end you get put off. But we were going to fight to the end, and there was really no quitting us. I was like, hey, let's just do these challenges. And we when I saw the U-turn, like I said, it was unfortunate, but I was like, there's nothing we can do but knock it out. There's no no point in feeling sorry for ourselves. Um, just, just to go ahead and do this and, and keep it going. Yeah, you guys definitely have the most heart out of any other team, I find, uh, just watching the show for the past few weeks. And, Jerry, I know it's still early on in the race, plenty more eliminations to come, but who do you think is the toughest competitor right now, toughest competition team right now? See, that's hard to say because it depends on the challenge. It, it, you just can't. You know, you can look at the football players, Angelo and Gary, and say, oh, they're stronger and faster. No. Or you can look at Sun and Chi and say, okay, maybe their agility or their size will help them. No, because you don't know what the next clue is. I don't know what the next challenges are going to be. So it's really hard for me to tell you because it truly depends 
Okay, decorating the um, the truck. The, the truck. truck, right? Well, I could not get to the top. You understand me? My hips would not let me jump on the tire and climb up. If I didn't have Frank, I could not have gotten to the top of the challenge. There was just no way. And I tried. I said, Frank, you're going to have to do the top because I couldn't get there. So there are going to be other challenges that each team is going to have a limitation. You just don't know. That's what makes the show, the show is unbelievable because you really can't say without knowing what the next challenge is going to be, logically, who's the favorite. And I'm not going to give it away. No, I'm no not. Yeah, don't give it away. I don't want any hints. I like watching week by week, not knowing anything. Frank, do you have any bets on who's going to take home the grand prize if you had to put your money on anyone? That's tough. You know what? I would like to say the volleyball feared guys. And I say this, you know, they're, they're a very athletic team, but just kind of throughout the show, even off the scene, they were very smart. They were very alert, attentive to things. And I was kind of like, you know, things that they were talking about, I was like, I'd like to be in on that conversation because I, I felt like it was something that could possibly help us in the race. They were very much always trying to figure out a way to get an upper hand. And I just think well, like no, their were, athleticism. If you, if you, tell the truth, Frank. They had people's phones and computers in airports. Well, what I'm saying, out. okay, okay. Well, and they knew, and they knew to do that. See, we didn't. So like, like I was saying, they went outside the box with things, which helped them, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. Well, we'll see how it all ends up. I don't want any spoilers, but Frank, Jerry, thank you so much for being here today. Although you were eliminated, in my opinion, a little too early, I absolutely loved watching the two of you and your bond just form even stronger. So thank you both so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank you so much for having Take us. Take care. People, you can catch new episodes of The Amazing Race every Wednesday at 8, 7 central on CBS.